Hello, I'm James, and I like to colourise old photographs. And today, I'm going to be both restoring and colouring this photograph of a gentleman sitting with his four identical clones, which was created using the astounding multigraph technique. Multigraphs were created using a series of mirrors creatively placed around the subject to show them from multiple angles all within the same photograph. In terms of the restoration for this photograph, it was somewhat more complicated than it at first seemed. As a postcard sized image, the damage appeared to be relatively minor, with the exception of the large ink stain on the left hand side and the date written in the bottom right corner. In terms of the date in the corner, it could very easily be argued that this is actually not damage at all, but part of the photograph's history. Since I was otherwise removing the associated ink stain, and I knew I would be adding the date to the final image title, I decided to remove it at the same time as the stain in this particular case. Although I initially believed the ink to be the only element which required serious attention, upon scanning the image, I discovered small spots of mould covering large areas of the image. While the mould seemed to have grown on the surface, and thankfully not yet damaged the image itself, it did require very patient manual spot by spot removal. With the restoration complete, I could begin work on the colourisation. There's always a temptation when colouring a photograph to simply use one colour for multiple elements. For example, when working on a group of men wearing similar suits, such as at a wedding. I always try to use different colours for each person in such scenarios, even if the colours are only very fractionally different. I had the rather unusual, but very time-saving luck with this picture, that using the same colour for all five jackets, for example, would obviously be completely fine, as it would be the same jacket each time. Despite saving some time by colouring multiple elements at once, I did for some reason have more trouble than usual trying to get skin tones I was happy with. I'm really not sure why this was. I think it might partially be due to me having problems finding contrast levels I was happy with. Without a correctly exposed monochromatic image, colorization is a real uphill struggle. One interesting and unusual element to this colorization was the need to correct for mirror reflection ghosting. On several areas of the image, Faint duplicates of the man can be seen as a byproduct of the multiple mirrors which were placed to create this illusion. Once the picture was 99% complete, I went over these areas, faintly adding colour reflections to them. It seemed a bit strange to purposefully bring extra attention to what was clearly an unwanted element of the original photograph. That being said, I always aim to make the coloured photograph capture as many elements from the day the photograph was taken as possible including those that the photographer may have wished to avoid. I find the days of early trick photography fascinating. The options to edit a photograph were somewhat limited in a pre-Photoshop era, so many ways were found to create interesting photographic effects in lens, as with the multigraph mirror process. I think it's a shame in a way that so many people, myself included, now rely on Photoshop for everything, when people over a hundred years ago were creating photography that still looks incredible today. Thank you very much for watching. I'll put some links in the description to more information on, and examples of, multigraphs, as I think they're really neat. If you're a new viewer to my videos, I have other colorizations up on this channel, and more planned for the future if you'd like to subscribe. Please let me know in the comments what you think of this restoration, and also if there's a person or topic you'd like to see me add some colour to. Thanks again.